Hello, everybody. I have some pickups that I wish to showcase today. Now, these are not just sports card pickups. First and foremost, we are going to highlight some vintage toy pickups. I haven't been acquiring any pieces lately because as many years as I've been collecting vintage toys, there's not so much I really need unless it presents itself where it's reasonably priced or the point of bidding on it, I should say, and looks in very excellent to great condition. Because you don't want poor condition toys because that means restoration work. Which, not nothing wrong about doing that. I've done that myself. But um, these particular items, I had one of them previously, but the outfit is kind of worn out. This looks much more, um, less overworn. So it's not been placed on and off the figure too much to the point where it causes fabric damage. So we'll get to that one after I showcase the first one. Okay, let's get to it. First item. Now this particular item, I got this off of the Facebook Marketplace. And the group in particular is Strawberry Shortcake related. This particular strawberry shortcake is the last one I needed for a particular line that was known as Strawberry Shortcake Collection Sweet Sleepers. They are predominantly they're the core um, figures from the strawberry shortcake line. Each one of them had um, uh, a sleeping bag, a pet, and you would call sleepwear for nighttime. Basically pajamas or yeah, something like pajamas. Or like, you know, okay, you get the idea of what I'm saying. Now, um, I got this from her name of the individual. His name is Shirley. I thank Shirley very much for having this because I looked it over thoroughly. Because this particular item, the one key part that seems to be the most problematic is the sleeping bag itself. They have a tendency to um, tilt and fall apart because the materials that were used. And um, I've seen many, many, many of them on eBay, and they don't fall to the criteria for which I wish to add to my collection. Basically, they're in really poor condition. Now, mint in box, that's never been opened. The original tape is completely sealed. Um, that's another thing too. If you're always looking for any in-box examples of vintage toys, make sure you take really good looks at the tape because you don't want to see tape that looks like it's been lifted a little because that means it's been opened, taken out, and then put back in and somewhat they tried to press the tape down. That's cheating. <laughs> that's not mint in box. That's, um, uh, I keep forgetting the verbiage for it, but um, mint, uh, you could almost say it's not used, but yeah, there's something in there. Either way, you can figure it out. Okay, now I got this for 60 bucks. Now, a complete version of this in a box, mint and sealed, it's about 225. Out of box, loose, roughly the value point is somewhere between 80 and 90 plus. So, 80, 90 plus, loose, 225, two, yeah, two, about 175, 225 mint and box. So, I did get this below market which is great because knowledge is king, <laughs> trust me. I mean, there's, I'm a Kenner super collector, minus Star Wars, because it's overproduced and there's way too much of it, even the vintage, <laughs> trust me. But that's a, another tangent, that's another story. You can figure that one out on your own as well. But Strawberry Shortcake, I think is a little more, um, not nearly as mass overproduced. There are some that are, and if you know about strawberry shortcake Kenner figures, you should be able to figure out which ones are mass produced. Sugar cookie, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Trust me, there's tons of sugar cookie. All right, let's get back to it. And as you see, it comes in this nice little box. Okay, let's open it up, shall we? This is not like a... Um, like a pack package, so I had to do this careful. All 
There we go. I just tore the lid off. <laughs> I don't need wax. All right. Oh, look at that. She comes inside of a, a Ziploc bag, basically. How does she bring it in there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, everything is individually wrapped up in cellophane. That's very cool. We'll go one piece at a time. Um, first and foremost, check them to make sure if it still smells. Because everything is scented in strawberry shortcake. Now this, of course, is her pet. And look at him. He's sleeping. He's so tired. Oh, don't wake him up. <laughs> so there's him. Oh, he's so cute. All right. Yeah, everything is in a sandwich bag, old school style sandwich bags, you know, the cellophane inside wrap. All right, take her out here. And stretch her out a little. Oh, look at her. Hmm. There she is. This, of course, is Blueberry Muffin. She's got great hair. Oh my goodness, she's in just fantastic shape. The little Velcro things come undone very easy. Nothing new there. So you just gotta pitch it back there again. Oh, she doesn't really have her original scent anymore, but that's fine. There's her little, little slippers. There. She has um the um the doll roll eyes. See when she's upright, her eyes are open. But when she lay her down, uh, it's kinda hard to show it here. There you go. See? Her eyes are shut. And she's Basically going to sleep. Oh, she's awake. Where's my caffeine? Where's my coffee? Oh, oh. hey, come back here. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And this is the one particular item, which is predominantly always the one um, piece for all of the Sweet Sleeper Strawberry Shortcake figures that is known to have damaged very easily when it's been overplayed. So... Definitely, this was the, the, the kicker for me. So I wanted to make sure the sleeping bag was in great shape. Look at that. That is awesome. This area here is predominantly always damaged because it's a separate type of material. And then you have the core temper uh, temperature, <laughs> the core bag itself. Fantastic shape. Yes, very much so. Because this here on the back, it's an opened one. Literally, the, the idea was you hook them up so when they're sleeping, they're kind of sleeping on a wall. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah. Okay, so there it was. My sweet sleeper blueberry muffin. Because she was the last one I didn't have. I have all the other ones in boxes, you know. So... This one here is a tough one to get in a box. If I ever find one in a box, that'd be great. But for now, this is good enough for me. Stay tuned for another great toy vintage item that I'm very pleased to finally acquire again. Stay tuned for that in just a minute. Say goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody.